Okay, so good morning and happy Sunday to everybody. I am headed to meet some first time home buyers this morning and I thought I would just kind of share what will happen during that appointment. So first time home buyers are some of my favorites. Um, as realtors, it's a chance for us to get to show off all the things we know, which I love. So the first thing that I go over when I have a first time home buyer is the home buying process. It's really, this is a super simple little simplified version of the home buying process, but it can guide you through each, each step. So you know exactly what to expect, exactly what comes next. Um, there's lots of pieces of the puzzle that the buyer isn't necessarily involved in. So I like to share that because it kind of um, just helps, helps keep you on track and makes you aware of what's happening in the background when you're not necessarily part of that process. Title work, um, approvals on the lending side, stuff like that. Um, the next thing, I have kind of a stack of checklists that I like to use. Um, the first one is a super simple one also. Contract to close is what this one is. And same thing, it kind of goes through the things that, um, that will happen and we can kind of check off. This is more specific to the buyer um, themselves. So if you're the buyer, you can kind of check off the things that you've done, the things that have happened, the things that have been completed, and know that we're on the right track and moving to the next step. Um, we have a mortgage pre-approval checklist. So if you haven't been pre-approved already and you're, you've set up your appointment with me, I'm gonna let you know all the things you need to get ready for your lender. Depending on your lender, there could be some additions to this, but this is the normal stuff that a lender is gonna ask you for. Next one, we've got a house hunting checklist and kind of some needs and wants. Um, I like this, especially if you have a couple, because if you haven't already had those discussions about what you want, what you need, what you like, and you're not on the same page, this can help you go through some of those discussions before you get to the table, um, before you get to the first house. Um, and we can kind of narrow down the criteria and what we're looking for. If you're both looking for completely different things, we're gonna need a minute. <laughs> Um, there's an open house attendance checklist. This one is some of the things that you might want to ask a realtor if you're visiting an open house without your buyer representation, about without your buyer representative. Um, just some, some little quick questions you might ask while you're in there. You're always supposed to let them know that you do have a realtor. Next, we've got writing a successful offer. This one I like, um, and I actually bring a copy of a blank offer with, with me to my first appointment. Um, this is helpful because it's a very big contract that we use here, here in Texas, and if you already know what's going to happen before you sit down to sign that, um, it just takes some of the, the pressure off. So uh, writing a successful offer, the things that, that you would need to know in advance as a buyer. And then, uh, let's see, the last thing is the actual, like I said, the contract. I bring a blank one with me, kind of go over it, um, really set those expectations um, so that when you've found the house that you love and we sit down to write this and sign it and send it off, um, you aren't terrified. So you already have an idea of this. So I hope that's helpful information. If you are a first time home buyer or if you are, um, just considering, considering getting into the buying market as a buyer, I would love to help you. I go through um, really this same process with most people, just depending on what you already know or don't know, we can tweak some things, but um, would love to visit with you. Have a great Sunday, everybody.